Ali, what was most pleasing about the win today? Well, look, I, I probably a, there's a couple of things. Obviously, the, the way our attack functioned, uh, pleased with that, the pace we got into the game, uh, the tempo, and uh, and we were able to keep ball for good periods um, and, and find a bit of space. Um, coupled with um, you know fantastic shift by the two guys in the second row, you know uh, we lost two our two our locks on Wednesday, um, so it was, a, it was a late change. The way those guys came in, um, grafted for the team. You know, Ollie Acton's put 80 minutes in on, on Monday night for the for the A League um, or the Shield, um, and hopefully we won't have a game tomorrow because we've got another Shield game. But um, uh, the way those guys stepped in was fantastic, and, and obviously pleasing as well to see Richard Capstick get his um, get his for, make his debut for the club and, and did fantastically well when he came on. What was your take on the, on the red card? It was obviously a pretty key moment. Yeah, I, I mean. I don't know whether the game hinged on it. Um, uh, I d you know, I don't think there was anything malicious in there. You know, um, I guess the, the officials had a good look at it. Uh, and the difficult thing is, if there's contact to the head these, these days, it's, you're, in, you're, you're in trouble. But I say I don't think it was the deciding factor in the game. I thought that the, the way we attacked the game uh, and the attitude we had with the ball in hand was, was probably key to the, winning the game. Um, and I'm pleased with that. Did you sense, Ali, that, that the Tigers were, were brittle and you know, they were there? If you could crack them early, the not, game was there? Not necessarily. I mean, you obviously looked at a couple of weeks ago against Northampton, everything was in probably Northampton's favour. The pressure was on Leicester. Um, we thought today maybe the pressure will be off and, and they've got obviously dangerous individuals within that side. So um, the, the challenge we put down to our guys was, you know, two weeks, are we going to sit back? Um, because we knew the physical con confrontation that Leicester would bring, and I think they, they did that, you know, uh, and they looked dangerous in attack as well. You know. um, so, look, we, we're pleased with, with what we come with. What we're pleased with is the, the attitude our guys showed um, in, in, you know, a situation where do, did we have to win today? Probably not, but um, you know that shows fantastic mental resolve to perform when you don't actually desperately need to. Um, so pleased with that. It's, it's another learn for us uh, along the way, and we're building nicely. We, you know, we're a mentally strong side now, so uh, that just bodes well for the future. As a statement, Dad, it's, it's a hell of one to put down the, the business end of a season. Fifty points, seven tries at Welford Road. Yeah, it, I mean, I don't think it's the, the statement we need to make is, is in the semi-final, and if, if we if we make it, then then we get a chance to make it in the final. Oh, yeah. They're, they're the only statements really we need to focus on. Um, uh, like we said, what we're pleased with is, is the way we, we performed. What we've got to do is, is stay feet on the ground. We've got to work harder next week. Um, and, and we've already asked the players, to be fair, Jack Yandel's just asked the guys, we've got to work harder. You know, there's more to come from us. Um, and I'm sure we'll do that. Can you talk a bit about uh, Henry's performance today? I know probably has not been quite well, but Henry's evolved into this. Outstanding outside centre, isn't it? Yeah, well, he certainly has. I mean, uh, look, there's a lot to, there's a lot more to Henry Slade than than, than the, the nice bits. Easy on the eye. There's a lot of uh, grit and drive within that. He defends fantastically well at 13. Uh, reads the defensive systems. You know, uh, he, he understands the systems, but also makes great reads out there on the park. But you know, when he hit that ball at pace, um, it wasn't really a, a, a defensive error or in shape. It was just almost too quick for the defender. So, um, you know, look, he had, a, he had a good week off last week. The, the important thing mentally, he's come back from Six Nations in fantastic order. He put a good performance at Bath, had a good rest week, he's refreshed, but he wants to get involved. He wants to get back involved with the club because this competition, you know, for places. So, um, just pleased with his attitude. As for Jack Knowles, you know, as well, coming back in as backs, I uh, couldn't have asked more, more from them. How important, if at all, is finishing first? It's not not important at all. But, um, uh, the, the importance is going to be our, how we perform through to the rest of the season. The rest of the season, obviously, getting top two was was important, um, as was fourth, you know, top four before that. So, um, it, it, the relevance of it is is is, is it almost. It's not. <laughs> the important thing is uh, the good thing is we got there. We, we, we've got a home semi-final. Um, we've got, but we've got to make sure we just don't don't let a, let a foot off the off the gas. We could, there's still more growth in us. We can get better. Um, there, there's certainly plenty of uh, certainly on the defensive side of things we'll, we'll improve. But um, and there's elements to our attack that are just gaining momentum. You know, we've introduced some new stuff 
uh, a few weeks ago, and it, I say it's just starting to come to fruition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.